Hello everyone, welcome to the EMV Co webcast on EMV 3D Secure Specifications and how this specification can help the European payment community meet the requirements of PSD2 SCA. My name is Bastian Adje, I'm the EMV Co Director of Technology. For those new to EMV Co, let me take a moment to introduce the technical body and what we do. EMVCO promotes the development of a common global infrastructure to enable payments to be transacted and securely accepted. It achieves this by detailing in publicly available specifications or globally recognized standards such as ISO IETF can be used by the payment community to create a consistent, interoperable and secure payment experience. These specifications can be downloaded from our website, www.emvco.com. This means that you can expect your payment to work whatever you are buying, wherever you are in the world. The EMV 3DS specification details a messaging protocol that enables cardholders to authenticate themselves with their card issuer when making card not present e-commerce purchases and promotes frictionless customer authentication. The additional security layer it provides helps prevent unauthorized CNP transactions and protect the merchant from exposure to CNP fraud. The three domains consist of the merchant and acquirer domain, the issuer domain, and the interoperability domain, for example, payment systems. EMV Co has created owns and manages the EMV 3D Secure Protocol and Core Function Specification, known as EMV 3DS, and related industry materials, which include the Software Development Kit Specification and Software Development Kit Device Information. So what is strong customer authentication? It is part of the requirements listed in the European Union Payment Service Directive 2, PSD2, that took effect in January 2018, which the SCA implementation requirements for many EU, EU countries that is applicable on 31st December 2020. In the UK, for example, the Financial Conduct Authority has extended the deadline to 14th September 2021. It brings new laws that enhance consumer rights and aims to reduce CNP fraud, amongst other things. SCA is a stronger level of authentication, which requires a combination of two out of the following three factors. Something you know, for example, a password, knowledge. Something you add, you have, for, for example, a mobile phone that is in your possession. And something you are, for example, a fingerprint for inherence. While SCA is used voluntarily in Europe today, this has mainly been when a transaction was regarded as high risk. Going forward, issuers will determine which CNP transaction require SCA, taking into account the exemption defined by the European Banking Authority, EBA. The EBA is an independent EU authority which works to ensure effective and consistent prudential regulation and supervision across the European banking sector. For certain transactions, Issuers can use risk-based authentication as an acceptable method if the transaction is within specific thresholds defined by the EBA. To be applicable, both the payer and the payee need to be in the European Economic Area, EEA, which consists of the member states of the European Union, EU, and three countries of the European Free Trade Association, EFTA, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Norway, plus the UK as it, is transitions, as it transitions from the EU after Brexit. All acquirers and issuers within the European economic area must ensure that they adhere to the PSD2 SCA requirements by the enforcement date. EMV 3DS provides tools and features that can allow card issuers and merchants to fully satisfy SCA requirements, as described in the PSD2 by the European Commission. EMV 3DS supports SCA by enabling the use of two-factor authentication as required by, by PSD2. 
the specification provides a global framework to support customer authentication in card not present payments across a multitude of different authentication scenarios. The framework is flexible enough to allow merchants and issuers to accommodate their authentication preferences based on risk and applicable, applicable regulatory factors. Issuers decide how the customer would be authenticated, for example, using a one-time passcode, knowledge-based questions, biometrics, etc. Biometrics is facilitated through out-of-band authentication. Out-of-band authentication is an authentication process that utilizes a communication channel separate from the primary communication channel. In the European Banking Authority opinion published on 21st of June 2019, it recognized that protocols such as EMV3DS provide a mean for merchant and issuer to support the use of FCA. A 3DS can authenticate cardholder across all e-commerce channels and connected devices, promoting customer familiarity, convenience, and security. By supporting new devices, for example, PCs, tablets, mobile, etc., new channels, for example, web browser, in apps, etc., solution compatible with the EMV 3D specification encourage cardholders to make purchases using their preferred medium without compromising on security. Merchant can implement a consistent approach across multiple platforms and digital channels for cardholder authentication or account verification. Consumers seek increased convenience and security during e-commerce payments. EMV 3DS based solutions have minimal to no impact on the applications and payment flows that customers in Europe are using and experiencing today. The latest version of the EMV 3DS specification version 2.2, offers enhanced support of PSD2 requirement. This specification includes support for PSD2 exemptions, which allows merchants to communicate to issuers that SCA may not be needed and has already been achieved for that transaction. For example, a, mer a merchant may request a low value exemption to the issuer as part of the 3DS authentication process. EMVC also offers an extensive functional testing program with qualified test tools and accredited test laboratories that confirm EMVC 3DS solution will perform as defined by the specification and effectively interoperate across different industries. EMVC specifies, provides guidance on, and tests the user interface, promoting a consistent user experience and consumer familiarity. This is vital in Europe, as SCA needs to be active across diverse national marketplaces. These tools also enable those implementing EMV 3DS the opportunity to rapidly extend into new marketplaces. EMV 3DS can support EBA defined exemptions and enable a frictionless experience. All EMV specifications are part of a layered security approach. More than one approach to security is required to fight fraud effectively. Other layers include security implemented by merchant system and SDK security evaluation managed by the Payment Card Industry Security Standard Council, known as PCISSC, EMV co software based mobile payment security evaluation as well as combined use of other technical body specification activities such as FIDO and W3C. EMV Core Remit is to manage and evolve the EMV 3D specification. EMV Core does not develop EMV 3D secure solutions, products, or implement 3D secure solutions or services. Please speak to your acquirer or 3 ds solution provider to source product and implementation information. EMV Code does not work in isolation. Payment and technology communities are collaborating to ensure EMV 3 ds evolves in line with technical and business needs. Optimizing the consumer experience in line with regulation is an ongoing priority. 
EMV co-engages with industry, regional and national bodies to support the advancement of the global payment ecosystem. Two such bodies relevant to EMV 3D 3DS are FIDO Alliance, an industry body formed in 2012 to address the lack of interoperability among strong authentication technologies, and the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C, which is an international community which creates technical standards and guidelines to ensure that the web remains open, accessible, and interoperable for everyone around the globe. Today, EMV3DS supports authentication methods based on the FIDO Alliance standards. For example, if a merchant wants to use FIDO authentication as part of the customer authentication process, FIDO attestation data can be shared with the issuer and the issuer may decide that further interaction with the consumer is not necessary. EMVCO, the FIDO Alliance and W3C have created a new interest group to join forces and align on a vision for web payment security and interoperability. Currently, work is potentially filling gaps between existing technical specifications to increase compatibility amongst different technology. Payment and technology communities are collaborating to ensure EMV 3DS evolves in line with technical and business needs. Optimizing the customer experience in line with regulation is an ongoing priority. EMVCO welcomes and encourages inputs from all industry cardholders. Through the EMVCO Associates program, industry participants, including issuers, acquirers, payment networks, merchants, manufacturers, technology providers, and technicians testing laboratories from countries across the world are able to engage in dialogue with EMVCO to provide direct input on its strategic direction and offer technical and business insights. EMVCO has a dedicated working group which monitors the, and advances the specification, SDK and related materials. There is also a dedicated testing group which defines the testing process, the test plan, and the test tool and lab qualifications. If you want to be part of the discussion, this group regularly connects with the EMVCO associates to get insight and inputs on long-term needs. Find out more on how to become an EMVCO associate or subscriber by visiting the Get Involved section of the EMVCO website. Thank you for listening.